Welcome, welcome, welcome to Learning Reaper. I'm your host, x.e.l.o. And today what I want to do is go over some of the MIDI editing features that they added in Reaper 7, just to make life a little bit more easy for some people who actually use a MIDI editor. Let's go. All right, so here we are in Reaper 7, and this theme is the Reaper Tips theme that I'm actually using, and let's get right into it. All right, so what I wanna do in this video is actually show you like some of the 808 slide things you can probably do now, and some of the MPE things that you can actually do inside of the MIDI editor now. So I'm gonna start with the 808, so I'm just gonna make like a little, uh, let's, do, let's do a little four bar, all right? And I'm, here is the MIDI editor, right? And as you see, I have a pitch lane down here. Uh, in order to actually set this up, I could hit this little minus to get rid of it. So usually you'll just have this velocity down here. And what you wanna do is hit this little plus sign to the left of it. And then you can either hit on this little arrow and you can go to pitch. And then you'll be able to see the pitch and have that in there. And you can use this little box here to make this go wider. Uh, if you wanted to, all right? So I'm gonna make it a little wider just so, cause we're gonna be using that lane uh, for sure. Let me set up the 808 really quickly for you guys so that uh, it doesn't do all this weird stuff. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna do my max voices to one and I wanna do the obey note off and I wanna do this portamento and raise this up to about eight. That should be good. All right, so I, put the note off release override to about four, just so that it doesn't get that weird clicking, popping kind of sound stuff in there. All right, so let's open up this. So we have, and it'll play just as long as this note is actually being played. All right, so I'm just gonna copy these over, duplicate, All right? So now we have a little 808 kind of pattern in here. Uh, I have a video showing you how to actually do 808s inside of Reaper, so that's not what this is about. <laughs> But I wanna actually just kind of show you some of the things that they add in here. So let, let's say I wanted this note here, right? To go up, right? So I can just click in here. Right now they have this option now where you can actually snap this little button here. Once you hit that radio button, it'll ask you what range do you want it to be in? So usually a, a whole octave is 12. So 24 would be two and so on and so forth. So I'm just gonna do 24. I don't think I should need it to go further than two. I can move this lane by itself and kind of just pitch everything up that's after it. I can go down. And as you see, it's snapping to those semitones. So I don't have to worry about it being all over the place. Wish, wish they kind of would have incorporated that before. So let me just show you a couple of things in here. All right, so in order to actually add a node in here, you can just hold down shift and click. And it'll add a node as you can see. If you wanna remove it, you can just right click over it and it'll remove that node, right? So if you wanted to actually do like a raising one, if I wanted to go here, I could hold shift and click and then it'll actually add the node. And as you see, it has like a ramp here, right? So uh, in order for it to be a ramp, if I right click anywhere that's not touching anything, if I right click in here, you can go to your CC curves. Right now I have mine set as a default to, lin to linear. So it'll always do a slope inside here. Um, usually it's set on squares. It's usually how it starts out. So if you did make a point, it would be a square. So if I do another one here, as you see, it's like boxes. So it'll square it off, but you would have to have it on the default in order for it to actually stay on whichever one you chose. So uh, let's say you wanted to remove all the nodes, you can double click over here on this side in this area, and then you just hit delete and it'll delete everything inside of this area. So there's a couple of just, you know, troubleshooting steps if you wanted to actually 
do any of this <laughs> uh, in here. Uh, you can also double click in order to make another node. So just double clicking. And if you wanted to actually just do your own little thing, you can just hold down control and you'll be able to drag it to whatever the nodes are in there. So that'll make it easier to kind of, you know, go up and down if you wanted to do that as well. All right. So also when you have a node in here, it's going to add another node and you see it's not directly on zero. So it's telling me that. So I can lock it straight to the zero point as you see uh, in here. If I move this, this area right here will show where the line is. So let's say we had uh, All right, so let's say we're gonna work with this one right here, right? And if you wanted to zoom, you can hold down control and it'll give you an option to zoom in to that area. So I can make this more precise if I needed to, which I don't because of the snapping, but this was, this was a option that they did have in there, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, and you can just kind of move things around. You can make them go up and down. Uh, so let's say I wanted to move like everything, I double click over here and then I can just drag this and everything will move up or go down. So I think that's really cool as well. But what's really cool is let's say we did this, right? Um, we move this over. So once you're over this like linear line, as you see the up and down will make it go up and down. But if you wanted to go left and right, to kind of make this into a different shape. You can hold down Alt on the keyboard and you'll be able to kind of make your own like shape. And I wish they did these for the fades as well in Reaper, instead of actually having to choose whatever one they have there, you can kind of just make your own fade. That would be really cool. Uh, but this is an option that you do have inside here if you wanted to kind of make a different shape for whatever you're trying to pitch bit, right? So if I play this, all right, so I'm going to zoom this out because I don't need it to be that big and I'm going to go to this one. So let's add a node and let's do this to about 15. So this is a way you can kind of just get a nice little 808 going uh, inside the track. All right, so this is just to give an example of what you can kind of do in here with like say an 808, if you want to do that with an 808 synth. All right, so Surge is a free synth um, and they actually even have a section called MPE so you can make some really, really cool stuff in here. All right, so let's see if we can make something in here. And I'm gonna show you some things that are pretty cool that you can kind of do inside here as well. So let's make a MIDI item. If you're not sure how to make a MIDI item, um, I'm just gonna show you really quickly. You can choose the track. I have it looped at this section, so it's going to fill up this whole area here. You can go up to insert and hit new MIDI item, right? So that's one way to do it. You can hold down control and drag across and it'll make a MIDI item. So that's another way to make a MIDI item. Um, I actually have shortcuts that I've made. So I have this one here inside my toolbar. So this will actually create one as well. And I also have an option to, if I double click in this area, it'll also make a MIDI item for me as well. All right. So now that we know how to do that, <laughs> uh, let's see if we can just kind of uh, make something really quickly here. All right. So let's stretch this out to a whole bar. What I'll just do is kind of, um, Actually, let's make it two bars. 
Let's just stretch it out and then we'll do a duplicate of that. And then we'll just bring this one up like five. So I'm gonna take off this key snap and go up one, two, three, four, five. All right, so that should be pretty good. All right, something really simple. Don't worry about the beat. Uh, no, this is not a beat making video. Um, I do have those as well. Uh, let me know below in the description what type of beats would you like me to make on, on this channel? And uh, we'll see what we can do. What's really cool about this now, right? Inside this MIDI editor, you can actually assign like different channels to any one of these keys. Uh, and you do that by right clicking on it. So I'm on this channel, highlight it, right? And I go down to where it says note channel and I can change this to another channel and it's going to change the color of that channel as you can see here. So I'm going to change this one as well. Um, so I'm going to go to note channel. Let's go to three. And as you see that changed it to another color as well. So now I have three different colors on here where uh, things can be affected differently. So I'm going to turn on my snap. And it's going to ask me what range I want it to be in. Let's do 24 again. All right. So I want to start on this red one. Right. And as you see down here, the note color is red. This is red. And if I do a node, the node itself, the line is red. So I'm going to hold down shift, add my little node there. And I want it to go gradually to about here to go up. Right. And anything that's red will be affected. So these will be affected by this change as well. All right. So now let's say we want to do this key. All right. So we add a node down here. As you see, it's a different color. So we can start this down here and we can kind of make this one start a little bit earlier. So let's start it about here. Right. Let's make this. Uh, 12, so that's gonna be a whole octave. Let's bring this one down some. Let's say eight, All right? Uh, let's do seven, seven semitones. So it'll be kind of in key still, <laughs> All right? And for this last one up here, that's chosen. So let's do this one. So boom, we have that. Let's bring it down. And as you see, all of them are kind of independent of each other. There's none, none of them are, you know, being affected the same. So let's bring this one down though. Let's say we're going to do that. So I'm going to start it here. And let's say we want this one to be seven down. So we're going to hear this change come right around here. So actually, let's just loop this part so it won't go back here and mess with this. And you'll hear at this point here, it'll start doing a different change. Right, something really simple that you can kind of do inside here. As you see, this is very tedious work. Just imagine <laughs> what people had to do before they actually did this. Um, I was watching another video of a guy. Sorry, I don't remember your name. I'll probably leave it somewhere in the video though so you guys can see and check out his channel as well. Uh, he was doing this same exact thing when I was trying to create this video and I happened to stumble upon his video when I was making this one. Uh, and he was showing basically like he did a whole bunch of calculations. He had to pull out a calculator just to make sure he had to write notes and stuff on here. And this makes it so much easier for the people who actually use just the MIDI editor to do anything. So uh, I hope this video does help you guys out. Uh, let me know if you have like any questions or concerns or comments, leave them below in the comment section of the video. If you would like to see me make a beat video let me know what type of beat you would like me to make below in the comment section as well and i hope you guys are really exploring reaper 7 and enjoying all the features that they've actually added in here as well if you guys are interested i do have a discord the link is below in the description if you're going to be releasing some music i do have a distro kid link for a seven percent discount and if you guys are looking for equipment i do have a zounds link below in the description as well. 
But with that being said, that's pretty much the end of this video. And once again, I would like to thank you guys for watching Learning Reaper. Till next time. Peace. Hey, you. Yes, you. YouTube wants you to watch this video next, man. Go ahead and click it. I'll wait. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm not going to keep waiting here. All right. I will see you in the next video, though. Peace.